Willie Santi Dominici is Latin for Sons of Saint Dominic. And this is the organization, of the official organization, formally registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission, of all the uh, former Dominicans no, who left the convent but did not leave the order. Uh, we're still uh, Dominicans at heart, and so we try to continue uh, living the spirituality of Saint Dominic and trying to participate in the preaching apostolate of the order. Our president, Mike Plana, to formally welcome all of you. Before, before my, my turn, may we request everybody to stand up and proudly sing the Philippine National Anthem. Hills and national malaise. Good governance that even a whisper mentioned of it brings hope and smiles to all of us. Hope that a dream for a better nation is possible and real. The Philly Santi Dominici or Sons of Saint Dominic, the Guzman, whose members are all former religious and seminarians of the Dominican province of the Philippines choose to continue to follow and live the charism of our Holy Father and Founder. Although now living in secular lives and working in different professions and vocations together with our families, but always in gratitude and in the guidance of the Dominican Fathers of the Philippines. Today, we are, we proudly proclaim sponsoring this event together with the generosity of Cafe Inco and of course the Dominican Fathers. The forum today is an integral part of Fili Santi Dominici preaching apostolate. Now, together, with our members and with you, 
we invite all to welcome hope and beautiful dream through our discourse on the subject nearest to our heart and to our country's soul, good governance. At this juncture, friends, ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to turn over the forum proper to Fry Jimmy Kura, our moderator for today. Thank you. Thank you, Frank Mike. Mayor, good night, Fry. Fry is, uh, what we used to call each other when I brother. So, uh, and by the way, uh, our guest speaker is known for his uh, very folksy and uh, very informal ways. Now, so please, uh, loosen up. This is supposed to be a copy, huh? No. <laughs> So, uh, this is not uh, supposed to be a very, you know, very solemn and very phenomenal kind of activity. But, it's serious, no? because the topics we will discuss are, are topics that uh, not only current, but are topics that impact Catholic thinking and impact the Catholic way of life. And uh, this gathering is uh, supposed to promote the ecumenical discussion of issues and concerns regarding these kinds of topics so that we uh, can then be uh, guided accordingly and then share our own insights with others who may not be here because of the limitations of space. Um, ang topic po natin ngayon is, um, for this second session of the Catholic Business Forum, is entitled, Is Good Governance Costing More Than It Benefits Us? A number of local government CEOs are rousing fresh hope, as our President Prime Mike said a while ago, among our citizens that governance can indeed be improved for the welfare of the people. Among the fresh faces fueling hope for change and transformation in Mega Manila are Mayors Isco Moreno, uh, more formally known as Francisco Domagoso, in Manila. Vico Soto in Pasig, and Francis Zamora in San Juan. A bit older in public service are Marci Teodoro of Marikina and Kit Nieto of Cainta, who became mayors one or two terms earlier and began showing the way in good governance in their respective local governments. This morning, we are privileged to have one of the emerging paragons of good governance in the person of Manila Mayor Isco Moreno. Thank you, sir. For responding to our invitation despite your heavy schedule. We hope to be able to tap into your experience and insights on the matter of good governance and its costs and benefits. But what is good governance? Good governance is an approach to government that is committed to creating a system where decision making is founded on justice and peace that protects the individual citizens' human rights and civil liberties. It has eight major characteristics. It is participatory and consensus-oriented. It is accountable and transparent. It is responsive, effective, and efficient. It is equitable and inclusive, and it follows the rule of law. Thus, the most common indicators of good governance are the following. Voice and accountability. Political stability and absence of violence. Government effectiveness. Regulatory quality. Rule of law. And control of corruption. The opposite to all of this is, of course, bad governance, which is increasingly regarded as one of the root causes of the biggest evils in our society. But all this talk about good governance also has its accompanying costs. These costs include the following. One, the money spent on administrative expenses. This is also known as administrative expenditure. The authors Klubian, Drucker, and Apolupo say that this expenditure covers both administrative expenses and capital administrative expenses, or the costs of running government in general, the cost of performing political duties and discharging civil services to the public. 
lahat yun kasama dun sa administrative expenditure. Second, the provision of security by the state. This refers to the military and the police or the uniformed personnel. Third, the misuse of public funds rationalized in the name of governance by corrupt officials or grafted corruption in all its forms. Fourth, population increase, which causes more demand for public goods and services, such as education, health services, and the like, and constant pressure from the, all the organized groups that compete for the increasingly limited resources. Five, the ever-increasing civil service sector, these are the government personnel at all levels, whose salaries and emoluments are funded by the people's money. And six, this one I have added myself, the personal costs to those who exercise governance, such as physical burnout and illness. Threats. <laughs> Threats to personal security, social costs, and the like. From this backgrounder, I thought of some specific questions which we might throw to our guest speaker if there is time to stimulate the discussion. For example, for the city of Manila, what are the top concerns of good governance? Number two, what are the most important manifestations of good governance that the present administration intends to offer the citizens of Manila? Three, how much of the budget is directly set aside for good governance? Four, despite the ever-growing annual budget, why do citizens feel less and less benefited by this growth? Number five, which aspects of the budget tend to be misused? and at what cost to the city? Number six, how can citizens effectively monitor and safeguard that the budget is being effectively used for good governance? This question implies that tayo mga citizens, gusto naman natin talaga tumulong sa good governance. Gusto natin malaman kung paano ko tayo makakatulong doon sa ating tinulong. In practice, what are the biggest threats to good governance in most cities or towns? And here is where he comes in. Here is where he has excited so many of our people. What are the out-of-the-box solutions, if any, that are being pursued to ensure good governance? Okay, and here to share his insights on these concerns is the most talked about newly elected local government chief executive officer in the country today. Do you agree? Yes! If you agree, palakpaka naman dyan. A, a quick intro of our speaker. Born and raised in poverty, we all know this. His life is the stuff that movies and teleseries are made of. The very same medium that in real life gave him the eventual leverage to compete successfully and win as a local politician in the city of his birth. From councillor to vice mayor and now mayor of the city of Manila from the ranks of the poor and the lowly to now the circles of the esteemed and the influential. But rather than let all the success go to his head, some say that he is sounding more and more like someone who has discovered a sacred vocation, a higher calling to become a servant leader in the complex and near impossible realm of public service. How is his newfound vocation playing out? Let's see. On his first days as the new mayor of the city of Manila, Isco Moreno carried out a series of seemingly small but significant, decisive, and quick actions to address long-felt but wantonly neglected problems in the city. Suddenly, the usually clogged streets of Divisoria were being completely cleared of illegal stalls and vehicles. The Bonifacio Monument at Plaza Lawton, which reeked of filth and human waste, was now spanking clean. Several more such actions took place in different parts of the city, all in the span of a few days. The effect on the people was something like shock and awe. Many of them said incredulously. Since then, 
Isko Moreno has become the poster boy for the possibility of good governance at last. In a city that he himself admitted had long lost its preeminence as the capital of the nation. But alongside the initial public chorus of praise and flattery for his unbelievable good start, some cynical comments are now being heard. So, pisa lang yan. Pag-ibig lang yan. Sobrang laki ng mga problema, hindi niya kakayanin. Mapapagod din yan. Pagkakasakit at gigive up. Bibigay yan sa padulas at kotong. <laughs> and so forth. <laughs> so we cannot help but ask, what costs loom for this bright young man with big dreams and a big heart and a brave heart and a disarming gift of the God to stay the course and pursue his vision for the city of Manila? What are his chances for success? My friends, let us hear the story and the insights from none, no less than your man is Moreno. Thank you. Maraming salamat po sa tagapagpakilala sa inyo pong lahat dito. Masaysa na kayo, hindi ako nakapag-review. Mukhang eksaminasyon na mga I think I have to answer all those things uh, uh, line up. Uh, uh, ngayon eh, anyway, but I'm honored. Thank you very much sa, uh, uh, sa ating mga kaparehan, sa ating mga madre, negosyante, mga kaibigan natin, kakilala. Eh, Magandang-magandang umaga uh, sa inyong lahat. Uh, Kinakabahan tuloy ako bigla dahil uh, eh, Hindi ho ako santo. <laughs> I have some uh, misdeeds also in my life. Um, uh, marami rin akong uh, pagkakamali at pagkukulang uh, sa buhay. But uh, sabi nga na mga matatanda na uh, kapag nataka ka, dapat matuto kang uh, maanda. Tapos, hindi pa ako pala simba. Kaya ang dami kong kasalanan sa Diyos. Sabi ko sa inyo, hindi ako sabito. But, don't get me wrong. My mother told me very well. Uh, taught me very well. That you can uh, pray anytime of the day. Kahit nasaan ka. Kahit anong ginagawa. Okay. Oh, I'm going to speak here. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. 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 Okay, may pagkakataon, kahit saan. Because uh, I, I really wanted to simplify life because life itself is complicated. Why make it more complicated? So, there are things in life that a man cannot do. But with God, walang imposible. Kaya mapapasili nyo. Hindi, ito, na, 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 ito walang politika. Mapapasin ninyo, after everything said and done, tingnan nyo sa dulo namin, may bago kami kampanya sa Manila. Sa dulo, yes. After everything said and done, after all those mind setting, after all those effort, physical, logistical, and everything, after ginawa na ng tao, oh, ayun na, doon na kami sa dulo. Oh, God first. Oh, kaya, sabi ko kasi, ang Manila, napansin ko, parang uh, no leaders including me at this time will solve all the problems of the city of Manila. 
it's literally chaotic across the board wala na nga ito wala na itong demographics pinakamahirap mahirap middle class mayaman lahat may sakit hindi sakit ng physical, but may sakit, uh, may, may problema. May problema kami bilang pamahalaan, anumang posisyon, from the bottom up. O, ganun din sa lipunan. Kasi para bang everybody gave up in Manila. So yung mayaman, for example, but sige na, may sakit sa lipunan yung mayaman. Alam mo, mayaman. Try to be heard by the government or uh, to share uh, situations, then yung mga leader ng pamala, ikinipit balikat na lang. Kaya nang mandang uli, yung mga nakaluluwag sa buhay, wala na lang naman. Hmm? So same thing with the middle class. Middle class will go in and out of their houses, go to a specific jobs, Eight hours a day, kahit nagka-cutting trip yung sinakyan niyang uh, uh, jeep or bus, dala na napagod na rin siya kakareklamo at wala rin tumutugod sa kanyang pamalan. Piniagad na lang niya. Kaya kahit na dalawang oras pa siya sa kali, imbis na isang oras na lang, ah, they got tired of complaining. Lalo naman ang mahirap. Kaya nga, alam mo yung misal, bakit may mga matatanda naman dito. No? Uh, medyo lang, medyo lang. Uh, eh, tama si President Magsaysay. Those who have less in life must have more. Ayun mga mahirap. Ako, Diyos ko. Mas kawawa. Bakit? Dahil sa kulang ng services ng, ng gobyerno. Hindi po, normal na po yung kulang ng services ng gobyerno. It, because it will never be enough. There's so much numbers in demographics, no? If we talk of data, talagang masyadong malaki ang portion nila. So it will never be enough. Let's accept that fact. That's why You know, in problem solving, sa akin lang, ito personal ko lang mo In problem solving, uh, you have to accept it's a problem so that we can address it. Because in denying it, ang tawag ko dyan pagkakubli. Iyan yung nagwawalis na naglalagay ng alikabok sa ilalim ng albumbra. Na nandun pa rin yung problema sa loob ng bahay. Just to hide it. So, nangyari, no, yung mga mahirap, bakit ko nasabi na mas kawawa? Nakita ko, itong mga supposed to be matatalinong tao, itong supposed to be mga leader na mga nangapag-aral, mga kilalang pamilya, mga alta sa syudad ba? Ang tawag doon sa, sa description ng uh, when you describe, oh, alta sa syudad yan. Ito, yung mga leader, so-called leader, mga lahi ng mga politiko, ang siyang nanggagahasa ng kahinaan ng mga mahihirap na unawain ang sitwasyon. Na mahirap kumunawa ng sitwasyon. Dala kasi ang pagmahirap, ang una niyan, ito ka. Maniwala. Ito yan. Of all the things, may sakit na, magtatrabaho pa yun, wala siyang pakailan. Ang ano yan, chicha talaga. Ito yan, this is the, the weakest part of a poor person. Dala nung kahinahan niya, unawain, ito namang mga politiko, ah, gagahasain sila in such a way that uh, uh, sila ay para sa kanila. And only to find out, This is the same politician who will squeeze whatever is left to our poor people instead of changing their mindset 
instead of inspiring them, instead of yung, yung, yung yakapi, yung kalawiti, akai, ay hindi tutulungan pa, ay hindi, ikaw eh, mahirap eh, dapat dyan ka, o sige, maghanap buhay ka dyan, ako bahala sa iyo na magkaan. Kaya tayo. Kaya ang nangyari, kaya ko hindi nyo kung masisisi, no leaders, including me, will address the problems of Manila immediately. Because it's psychological. It's mental. Yung economic is always given. Basic services is always already given. Kung ka nandiyan na yan eh, may hospital, may iskwelahan, may simbahan, may institusyon, mayroong uh, sports facilities, mayroong job opportunities, may mali sa Manila. Napansin mo. Yung pananaw. That's why we're really trying to change the mindset of our people to participate, cooperate. No? Yung pusa, hindi nyo nakawal sa pag-isa. Magpusa naman tayo, tulungan natin. Kasi, yung normal, ang normal, may gobyerno matino, no? may gobyerno matino, may gobyerno sa kalsada, may gobyerno sa pamalaan, uh, sa, sa pamayanan, yun ang normal. Because in a civilized world, in a civilized time, we are being guided by law and order. Without it, that's what we call the anarchy and tyranny. So yun ang normal. E napagod ang tao, ikinipit balikat na lang. We lost hope. So, yung normal, naging abnormal, at yung abnormal, ang naging norms. So, kahit chaotic, okay na. Ano na yun na na? Ayoko na lang yun. That's why, I've been seeing this for so many years. And a lot of polit, a lot of politicians is afraid to lose political capital. A lot, because the basis of their power is money. Kaya sila nagexist dahil yung dahil ng alta sa ciudad ang pinuhuna nang picha. Kaya pag magdidirektiba kapag ka magugubyerno kapag ka magpupulisya gagawa ng pulisya ang tawag doon, inano muna ilan na mawawala sa ato dyan kinakuantify muna instead na di ba in democracy 50% plus 1 lang ako kasi gano'n ako lagi mag-quantify. Basic ako lagi. Kaya sabi ko sa inyo, what we're doing, in fact, wala pa ako kami ginagawa sa Manila. What we're trying to do is elementary of governance. The ABCs of governance. Yun lang talaga. Kaya, nangyari, so, through the years, nung dumating kami, boom! What we did is normal. But it seems what we're doing is abnormal. Kasi nagulat ang tao. If I may borrow your words, pwede pala. Too simple pala. So that's why, kanina, sabi ko, psychological. We're trying to put in the hearts, minds of our people that there's still hope. We're trying to ask the hearts and the minds of our people to help us try to ask the people to have a second look for Manila. Ibang dati kasi dire-direcho na tayo. Ano sila doon? Ang gulo niya mga taga Manila niya. Dire-direcho na lang yung utaw. I mean yung tao, sorry. Dire-direcho na lang yung tao. That's why kinakalabit namin kayo ngayon. 
sa likuran ninyo. Kaya hindi nyo ko napansin na Jasa, Goku Wei, uh, D, G, lahat ng dalawang letrang pangalan. <laughs> uh, lahat. Kinakalabit ko talaga. Literally. Alam niyo? Tingnan niyo naman, no? Ito gagawin namin. Ano tingin niyo? Why? Because I really wanted to go back to my name. At siningil ko sila. Ah, oh, magaling ako maningil eh. <laughs> Sabi ko, kayo, mga second generation, third generation na kayo. Pero sa ayot sa gusto ninyo, kayo ay may, ang pamilya ninyo, may kasaysayan sa may nila. You owe it to us. You owe it to Manila. You owe it to the capital of the country. While it is true that you live in Makati, Quezon City, and so on and so on, lumago ang negosyo ninyo dahil sa lungsod ng Manila. Kaya siguro, hindi naman masama. Bigyan niyo muli kami ng pangalawang pagkakataon. Pumalik kayo sa amin. Mas mahal sa BGC. Mas mura sa amin. <laughs> I think I'm just trying to be honest. <laughs> Totoo naman eh. Ang dami kong espasyo sa eskolta eh. O, no, magka sa Makati. I mean, magkano sa Makati? No? One-six per, per metro kodrado. Upa, upa to ha? One-two, one-six. Ha? Dahil I mean, na uh, per 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 Yes. Uh, some family, an, a family invested so much, protected the heritage, came up with an idea on an old coffee shop. Tumpok. Sa tumpok lang, bago mag-ilog. Yung HSBC building, yung 19 kopong kopo. Ah, ito doon. I saw the picture. Ay, dinadaan ako, kaya lang lagi na ako kasing gabi. Nakakaigod. So, madaling araw nakikita ko siya. So, I'm going back to the, the, uh, what's happening in Manila. So, kami po talaga, sabi ko, uh, ano pong pangalan niyo? Ma'am? Lisa. 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 Ma'am Lisa. How can I ask Ma'am Lisa? Sabi ko to ha, sa mga department head. Team. How can I ask Ma'am Lisa to clean her plantage of their house wherein we as city government just across the street there's pool of shit <laughs> <laughs> okay. and this is not a metaphor <laughs> this, is, this is literal there is 160 structures na bodega bahay, tindahan, in a park. Sabi ko, Nera, eh, loko-loko rin pala ito ibang tao eh. Nagahanap pa ng condominium para maupahan. Eh, ito, park, oh, laki, ganda, park, tatapat mo pa, SM. You don't have to go far. And it's been there for X numbers of years. Kaya ko sinabi sa inyong ironic because you know how far it is? This is, this is our coffee shop today. Ito, office of the mayor. You know where it is? Ayan. We don't check this out. Ayan, ayan. You ask uh, our media friends. They know. They know very well. Ayan, ayan, BPI. Ayan, 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 ayan. Ganyan. Andyan. So, yung mayor, araw-araw, may patkid yun eh. Sa baba, may, may, ano yung papasok yung sakyan. Okay, ganyan. Araw-araw. Then I'm going to ask Miss Lisa, Ma'am Lisa, Ma'am, tulungan niyo naman ng gobyerno 
Pakisuyo naman. Linisin niyo naman yung harapan ninyo. Alam mo sasabihin niya sa akin, Ano, Mr. Mayo? You're asking me to do something? Uh, it is your job? No, hindi. Nakikisuyo lang ako, ma'am. Baka lang makatulong kayo sa pamalan. Any effort, makadadagdag na sa'yo. Hindi. Paano kung nilinisin ang tapat ng bahay ko? Eh, bahay mo man. Dumi-dumi. Diyan na sa city hall mismo. Tama naman. What is our, sabi ko sa mga tao, what is our moral responsibility to ask somebody if we in government cannot clean even our front page? And this is basic. This is not a rocket science. It can, it's, it's duplicable. At kopya-kopya rin. Pwede ko rin kopya rin. And that's why we started with that. Sabi ko sa alam. Dalawang bagay lang mangyayari sa inyo. Nung kinausap ko yung mga yan, dalawang bagay lang mangyayari sa inyo. Umalis kayo ng pusa, it's a part, it's for everybody. Yes. Umalis kayo ng pusa, o bukas sa bukas, kung nakapanood kayo kay Roman Mumpin, na minaso ko yung Kaya ko ang statua, heritage, nilagyan ng, ng paranggay ko. <laughs> no, no, no. Ah, ang sabi ko sa inyo, pumulo yung dugo ko. Nakita ko lang yun eh. And that, immediately, immediately, road, ang pain, di ba? Ah, minasabi ko doon sa mga, you know, don't test me. You know, hindi naman ako matapang. Hindi rin ako maaaring tama. I will never be right all the time. Don't get me wrong. I will never be right. Only God is always right. But I will be just. With, with being just, I know for a fact, at the very least, wala akong akapakang tao. Nagiging makatwiran na. Sabi ko. So, it's either you evacuate. It's beyond the commerce of men. As like what the Supreme Court said. Or, tomorrow, I'll go down here, dudurugin ko lahat yan. Nangihinayang naman ako sa inyo. Sayang naman yung masisip yung pang gamit. Dala ko, galing din ako sa squatter. Anything. Yero. Dos por dos. Coco lumber. Plywood. Anything na pwede masalve. Sayang. Eh, these are not squatters, ha? Ako, tingin ko pa, squatter. Pero these are not squatters. These are entrepreneurs. Being organized by an organizer. Nang mga bata ni Eddie at Patty. Eddie, Eddie siya. Sino si Patty? Eh, pati mga kasama niya. This is a a modern, organized tax collecting system in the other world. Other world. Huh? Iba yan, ibang mundo yan. Uh, eh, awa ng Diyos, eh, buti naman. Meron nakakakilala sa aking lubos. Yung meron mga tao nagmalasakit sa kanila na ikinumento para maglimpin ka na, pagpupuyatan ka niya. <laughs> and that's the problem with me pag napuyat ako so I will not stop when it's some kapag may almuranas dapat pumunta ka agad ng doktor patanggal ng almuranas because it's, it's really pain in ass and that's going to be me it's going to be me because I cannot take it sitting nagpapagabag ako. O, eh kayo, tingnan ninyo, mga relayoso kayo dito, di ba? <laughs> tingnan po ninyo, ha? Ano sabi? Hindi naman ako may sabi nito, eh. For evil to succeed is for good men to do natin. Para maghari ang kadiliman. Ha? Para maghari ang kadiliman sa mundong ibabaw, ang mga mabubuting tao ay manahimik na lamang. Ang pananahimik ninyo ay pagbayad. Hindi ako religyoso. 
But I think that's a basic principle in life that can, it's a general acceptable principle all over the world. No matter what religion you are. It's not about the real uh, verses in the Bible, but it makes sense. Parang na naman ni, yun na yung nangyari sa amin. Ikinipit, balikat na lang ng tao kasi nawala na ng pag-asa. Kaya, sa awal ng Diyos, the following day, ubo sila lahat. You'll be surprised. Because somebody told them, mukulitin yan, mas makulit sa atin yan. Ayan, ubos. Then, maganda yung pagpapakilala sa akin kanina, kasi totoo na may sinabi na yun. Habi nila, recto, hindi na maresolusyonan. Nobody. Ay, impact. Meron niya dyan. Nagsasabi. Kaya raw yung pinayagan. <laughs> Para daw sa mahirap. Pero yung sinasabi ko sa inyo lahat. May magkikli. So, so cold. Para sa mahirap. But these are the same people, same person who will squeeze. Ito yung mga manggigipit sa kahinaan ng mga may hirap nating kababayan na maunawaan ng bagay at kahinaan mabigyan ng pagkakataon kahit mali. Na pwede ka naman makapaghanap buhay nang wala kang tinatapakang kapwa mo pobre. O eh, ako bakit ba ako hindi naman ako nagdala ng tres cantos? O betin webe para mameruisyo to to ito to gain. No, I did not. Hindi ako nagsolve eh. Pero katabi ko, nagsosolve sa basura. Nung nagbabasura kami. O, nag-side car ako, pero sabi, bawal sa recto. O, hanggang walo na atras lang ako. Hanggang doon sa South Drug. Nasunod naman ako. Kasi sabi, bawal eh. Makukulata ka ng lesbo eh. Kailangan ka pa niya ako eh. So, malangit tawa eh. <laughs> yung yun, polis eh uh, recently na matay mo nadibdiban ako eh, dahil kapulitan ko eh o sumunod, hindi na ako muli o doon lang ako sa kanto ng South Drug Juan Luna Lakandula, Juan Luna Lakandula ko ibig sabihin, yan o oh, hindi, sabi nila wala yan and some of my uh, hindi, hindi po friend yun eh <laughs> Kasi Kung friend ko yun, hindi gagawin sa akin Somebody uh, Offered the X number of uh, X number It was uh, about 5 million a day 150 million a month That's 1.8 billion A year That's 5.4 billion In one term without receipt. You are in a wrong business. You should go to politics. <laughs> <laughs> eh kasi hindi pa pera ng taong bayan yun. Hindi pa ka ba ng bayan yun ha? Baka hindi namiwindang lang, hindi nyo napapansin. Pera sa lupa pa yun. Ha? Ang tawag ko nga yun. Kaya di ba nung araw, ano, ano tawag sa magnanakaw? Mandarambong. Tapos, ang dekada na benta, naging magkanakaw. Uh, tama? At tapos, nung year 2000, dahil Y2K na, plunderer. Tama? Nag-involve eh. Oo, okay, may bago kong tawag sa mga yun. Alam niyo ba, no? Alkohol. Bakit alkohol? Eh, walang patawag sa mikrobyo eh. <laughs> eh, pera sa lupa yun eh. Pera na mahirap yun eh. Kala ko ba gusto natin tulungan yung may hirap? Kung talagang gusto natin tulungan at talagang kaya natin i-tolerate, ilatag natin sila sa tindahan, sa kalye, sige na. Or just for the sake of ano lang ha, conversation. Ilatag natin sa kalye. Totally pagkagamit mo pala natin sa may hirap. Eh. Tama naman. O, pero ipalalatag mo para hingin mo ng 350 a day, 
na mas mahal pa ang pwesto niya kaysa sa mall. At ito pa yun, sa mall down payment. Tama? Dito, goodwill pa lang. Todas ka na. And don't, don't belittle this. Siya sa, I challenge each and every one of you. Siya sa atin yung goodwill sa rektor, 30,000, 50,000, 500,000, 1 million. Goodwill to ha. Goodwill is one time fee. Ba't tumabot ng 1 million? Mapapansin nyo dati sa rektor, building? Building mo. Ma'am Lisa, building mo. As a rektor. Pansin mo, bakit may gumagapang na damit? 1 million? O, oh, hanggang langit, pwede magkabit. <laughs> Kaya pansin mo, ang, ang kabitan, di ba? Hanggang may tuto. Plus 350 pesos, 500 pesos. Can you imagine? Ayun ba ang pagtulong sa mahirap? Yun pala, ino-organize lang yung krimen. On the G's. Kaya sinabi ko sa mga kababayan ko, buti naman, nakuunawa ng mga kababayan ko, mag-iingat po tayo, gasgas na gasgas na po yung salitang para sa mahirap. Ang tunay na para sa mahirap ay gumagawa, nagbibigay, ng panahon to attend to social amelioration program. security sa pamamahay ginagabayan pinamumunuan binibigyan ng pagkakataon sa tamang parang at pagkayari noon yun yung mga basic yung pamayanan the physical appearance that addresses convenience flooding Plain and simple rules, traffic, peace and order, governance. Yun, kaya, yun, di ba yun ang tuloy na ang pag-ugobyerno? Kung yun ang pag-ugobyerno natin, then kung yun ang sistema ng pag-ugobyerno, then bibiyakin natin yung community parang pizza. Ilan dito ang mga mahihiram? O, bigyan nyo ng konting diin. Kung baga sa buryon, may killing. May kilya. Nagyan mo ng konting kilya. Para na sa ganoon, mauunawaan naman ng taong nakaluluwag sa buhay. Na may konti tayong diin. May konti tayong kilya. In terms of services. O, pero sa pagpapatupad ng batas, ay pantay-pang tayo. Walang mahirap, walang middle class, walang mayaman, walang Pilipino, Walang banyaga. Lahat susunod sa Maynila. Yon ang aming pamantayan sa pag-ugobyerno ngayon. Walang superpower na bansa sa amin. Maniwala kay sa amin. Talaga. Hindi nyo kami madadala sa mga pawupautang. Donate donation ng mga malalaking bansa. Humihingi ako. Don't get me wrong. True. Nangihingi ako. Nangihingi ako para sa tao. Para sa syudad. But it doesn't mean in return that you can do whatever you want in the city of Manila. No way. No thanks. Because when we visit their places, if we are in Japan, we do what Japanese does. The rules. Same thing with the yung mga ONAX. Pag nasa status yung ito sa sumusunod ka. Sa Europa, ganun din. Sa Hong Kong, nasunod tayo. Then, the sauce for the gander is the sauce for the goose. When you're in Manila, you follow our rules. No exemption. Uh, we just donated the uh, <laughs> okay, we believe, thank you. Beggars cannot be choosy. Choosers. <laughs> but, it doesn't mean, huwag kayo mag-aalala ha, kung manatag ang kaisipan ninyo. Habang tinatanggap ko yan, ay ang lais ko lamang ang layunin ko upang kaharapin 
ang mga hamon sa pamamahala. But, not at the expense of your rights, of your, uh, you know, of our city, of our laws. No? Ano yan, ganito sa Maynila. na sila sa pabuhay, <laughs> ang lugar na po yan. <laughs> Iba na po yan. Ayun, ayun, malapit na yung boundary. <laughs> Konting kayo mood na lang. <laughs> eh, hindi naman kasi may kanya-kanya na mga kating suliran in that rules. So, awa na Diyos. A two-decade problem in 14 hours na tanggal. Tanggal ba? Nalinis? Yes. And then it became non-negotiable. One luna recto. One luna tundo. One luna binondo. Blue Mintry. Rizal Abinyo. In pagbaba ng Makarpo. Carrieto. Raul. Quezon Boulevard. Plaza Miranda. The Square. Portion Square. Is non-negotiable cannot be occupied by anybody. Yung yung mga Hidalgo, Villalobos, medyo for purposes of being compassionate and understanding and being just. But there are things there, non-negotiable. Then, yun na po yun. Tama yung sinabi nyo. Kaya yan, sa simula lang yan. Ayaw ko rin gawin yun eh. <laughs> well, I cannot blame uh, those persons. Tigilan nyo na yung palaya. Ano nga palaya maganda lang sa diabetes? <laughs> Kasi pagka puro pait ka sa buhay, hindi ka liligaya. Kaya nga ako, lagi ako pagka if I'm being, if, if I'm going to, I mean, sometimes I was given a chance to, to, to teach, to, to share. Ay, kung ay, ang pala yan, sabi ko, ito simple. I don't know if you will agree. You know, happiness, kanya-kanya perspective, perspective ito. Pero ito yung, ito yung reason ko kung bakit ako masayahin. Ang taong walang kabubusugan ay walang matatagpuang kaligayahan. Kaya lagi ako naging masayahin sa buhay. Because you should know how to appreciate and what you have to enjoy it. So, if you are not happy with it because you are not contented because you have about uh, five or seven uh, uh, houses to attend. <laughs> uh, then, it will never be enough. No, it will never be. Why? ang kabuso ka sa katawan eh. Hindi ka nga niligaya. So, papait ang buhay mo. Kaya tigilan mo ang ampalaya. <laughs> Bitter yan, di ba? Kaya ang ampalaya maganda lang talaga lagi sa diabetes. Sa pamamuhay, hindi talaga. Kasi ano yan, magkukusubi ka. Kaya ako, Marami ako yung pinagpapasalamat sa Diyos. Kaya hindi nyo napasini. May hawa ko lagi Starbucks. Pasini nyo. Alam mo bakit? That will cost me about 110, 120 pesos. Right? Eh, 3 in 1 lang, no? Magkakisi. Pareho ng kape. Pareho lang yun. Kape rin naman yun. Why am I holding that uh, brand of coffee? To remind me of myself. O, oh, isko, easy ka lang. Nung araw, pag meron ka 50 pesos, piyesta na buhay mo. 
O ngayon, nakabibili ka pa na 100 G's pesos. Huwag kang magre-reklamo. You should be grateful. If you can still afford to pay for 110 pesos for a coffee, then you're in a good condition. In a good situation. Well, that's why I'm always grateful. Uh, when I'm grateful, I'm happy. When you say thank you, I'm energized. When you say we appreciate, nakon just ko para niyo ako nag recharge lang. Because you are my motto light. Ang taong bayan ng baterya namin eh. Yun ang sukatan ng polisiya eh. If you appreciate it, remember, for evil to succeed is for good men to do nothing. If you know how to hate people in government and speak your mind and, you know, publicly, there is no harm also in speaking your mind that you appreciate things. It's not because you're trying to align yourself politically and putting colors in your shirt. No, it's just that I don't like him before, but I like what he's doing, and I want everybody to listen to this person. You know, you should follow. Dito sa akin, sa pagkalahatan tayo, my professor told me, taught me very well. And, uh, sabi nga niya, if basang mo tao, basang tao, <laughs> ano, nag, uh, yung appreciate nila, you encourage them to speak because ang mahihingay ay yung konti. Yung mga tahimik, madami. Pero huwag kayong magkamali. Yung konti sa sobrang ingay na paulit-ulit, maririndi ang mga tahimik. At bandang huli, ang mga tahimik, kokonti na lang. Bakit? Persuaded. And especially if you're going against underworld. Especially if you're going against crooks. Crooks will spend money. You think they can even treat you for lunch? Just to talk to you and have coffee, you know. But naturally, hindi mo lang alam. Kino ko ito. You know what's happening here? Huh? Anong tingin mo? Eh, pala eh. Tinuturtal lang yung utak mo. So that's why. Kaya sabi ko, ang tao ba yan? Ang aming motor line. Ang baterya. If you appreciate it, we'll do better. If you don't, we'll change it. Because there is time. And lastly, after all these things going on, actually wala pang kami ginagawa talaga. Sa totoo lang. This is just a uh, basic obligation of any mayor. What we're doing is the job of a regular mayor. Because mayors are micromanagers, which is a lot of people will agree, disagree with me. A lot, a lot of people in in political world huh, will disagree with me. Sabi ko, a mayor micromanager. Ne, macro, micro. That's why they call it national government. National government, macro. Mayors, local government unit, micro. Yan yung day-to-day. -day. Yan yung inaasahan ng tao. Now, mga kababayan, I cannot guarantee you tomorrow. Only God knows what will happen tomorrow. But at the very least, that I can give you just something to hold on. But unfortunately, it will be different. I don't like stagnation. I don't like hibernation. The proof of this statement is just look at me. Look at me noong araw pa. read what happened to my life then you will understand why I don't like hibernation and stagnation at 10 years old 
alam ko nang may problema. Ano? Kahirapan. Wala akong chicha. Hindi ako nang alamit pengi. Binatak ko ang buto ko. Impermes sa nanay at tatay ko. They don't like me. But I ask them, I beg them, I want to do something. So, doon na lang pagbasiyan. Why? Bakit ako ganun lagi? Because if you apply the principle of temperature, anything above zero is positive. Stagnation will give you nothing. Hibernation will give you nothing. I would rather try and fail than fail by not trying. Yun, ang pwede ko lang iwan sa inyo. Walang garantiya, pero tiyak, may ibang mangyayari sa may nila. At may awa ang Diyos, the greatest goal in Manila, our vision, aspiration, I wanted to create an orchestra composed of different musical instruments, singing one music in harmony, conducted by one. Yan ang pangarap ko sa mga. That one is not me. It is the law that everybody as a North Star of all sectors that in Manila someday, somehow that there will be certainty certainty in peace certainty in progress certainty in rule of law certainty cross that when you go to Manila you will be proud again that you can call yourself ako, batang Maynila ako. I want you to take that pride again because Manilans deserve better things from their government. Maraming salamat, Yorme. <laughs> uh, normally, ang design natin dito, yung, uh, yung guest speaker natin, binibigyan natin ng uh, mga 20 to 30 minutes. Pero, pinabayaan ko. <laughs> Sorry, ang madaldala ko. <laughs> And you know, I'll explain why. Sabi niya kanina, yung mga tanong na, na tinanong natin, yung checklist ko. Ano ako, parang examination ito, parang mahirap sa ito ng mga ito. Pero sinagot niya eh, di ba? Without really going to specific questions, sinagot niya. By really going to the root of all those. And uh, the root was mindset. Mindset. All begins there. But it's not my task to react. Uh, we have chosen somebody, Mayor, who we have requested to uh, to react to your speech and not on behalf of all of us but to just start the discussion so that in the remaining time we can begin to get some reactions also from the others alam ko pong busy busy kayo baka hindi namin kayo mapapalik dito very soon kaya sasagarin namin dito kung baka po pahihintulutan nyo kami ano ka naman yun eh you should be good to all dahil pinatawag ko lahat ng 100 na chairman, ng mga zone chairman okay. para sa operation ng clearing, tuloy-tuloy pa rin, and so on and so forth. So, ang unang-unang mag-react sa inyo yung dating presidente ng UST na naging member of the cabinet din noon, siya yung chairman ng Commission on Higher Education. Walang iba kundi yung aming kin minamahal at ginagalan na kapatid, si Father Roland de Rosa. <laughs> Uh, your main 
Maraming salamat sa inyo. Ang pagpahagi na inyong makaranasan, na inyong plano, higit sa lahat yung inyong idea lesson. No? Ngayon, sabi niyo, halos wala pa kayong nagagawa. Pero I would remind you, small deeds done are better than great things planned. So kahit maliit, o konti pa lang yung ginagawa niyo. Ang malakas ang impact dito sa palagay ko, yung pagbabagong uh, pinapangarap niyo ay matatapit ng team. Ngayon, ang aking pong katanungan ay ito. Um, napakaganda nung sharing niyo, subalit kakaunti kami rito. Karamihan dito hindi pa butante ng may dito. Walang bilang. Purong noriso eh. <laughs> Kung bagay sa Madjong, bago, bago mabayaran, Tracy muna. Muli ko yun doon, no? I'm happy that you, you have this type of interest. You see, I'm, 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 I'm doing, uh, if I may cut you short, I'm doing uh, a marketing rally. I'm selling back, again, Manila. And, oh. you know, I, for example, ito, ganda-ganda ng, uh, kung nakakain na ako nito, masarap nito. What if may kabranch sa Maynila? This will generate about 10 jobs. This small space can generate 10 jobs for Manilans. So, that's why, kahit hindi taga ang Maynila, ah, inahataw ko yan talaga. Uh, please continue, Mr. Uh, salamat po, Mayor. Uh, yun na nga, nag-rally kayo to bring people back to Manila. Ngayon, uh, isang malaking audience, na captive audience ng Manila, sa palagay ko, ay yung mga estudyante. Remember, in Manila, we have the University Belt Test, na milyong-milyong estudyante ang naririyan. Sa UST lamang, every year, we have 40,000 students. And that can be a very good uh, forum for you, if you can organize them. Kasi sa aking palagay, ang mga kabataan ngayon, they still have the idealism, but because they have been disillusioned many times by uh, through the examples of our leaders, parang ayaw na nilang makialam. So what they need to do... Oh balikat na rin nila. Opo, yun na. So ang gusto nila ngayon, I think what they need today is someone who can light up or ignite yung idealism pa, yung kanilang hope. And I think there is one person who can do that. Because uh, somehow you have captured their imagination, no? Sabi nga ni Rizal, the youth is the hope of our fatherland. And I believe your miraculous win you against a very formidable opponent, si Mayor Estrada. And nobody was thinking mananalo kayo. I think it's also because of the great help of the tinatawag yung silent, major minor uh, silent majority who are the youth, no? So sa aking palagay, Kung iba, pagmamarapan niyo po, why don't you yung rally niyo, why don't you hold these rallies within universities? Because they can be your biggest partner in changing the face of the world. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Well, uh, dati, uh, ang, ang, ang Maynila, uh, most, most of us, say something about Ako complain na mga university na siya, wala naman tayo kita siya. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> naman nagbabayad ng buwis. In fact, it's the other way around. You know, when I, do, when I did a, a meeting, the other uh, week, ito, BPL. BPL na ito, ito talaga sinabi ko sa, you know what? You know why you keep on renting spaces here in BGC? We were in BGC. Did you know that we are number one producers of graduates? Sabi ko sa, sa, isa, medyo malaki yung Singaporean leasing. Sabi ko, put up uh, BPO in ano, Manila. Why? Your employees will be happier. Mia, bakit? No, isa, ha? bakit? Ako maniwala kayo. Because of the cost of living, it will be cheaper for a Manila. Tingnan ninyo ha, sabi ko sa kanya, o oh, magkano yung sweldo rito? Pagpalagay natin 500 piso sa PGC. Magkano yung sweldo sa Manila? 500 piso din. Abay, bakit? NCR rate eh. Pagpalagay lang natin 500. 
because we are in one region in a different city and different opportunity. And I told them, sabi ko, itignan hey, ninyo, ay mamamasahe yung taga Manila. O punta ngayon ng BGC. Tos gas yun, ang laki, araw-araw. Tama? Now, here we are. I'm encouraging you to go back to Manila and invest in Manila. I'll give you certain stimulants. The same thing that I'm offering with the uh, real to, realty companies to develop Escolta, to change the skyline of Escolta. I'll give it to you also. Just put up space, working space in Manila. I mean, meron lang isang catch. Sabi niya, ano yun? Eh, kailangan 100% taga Manila yung bibigyan niyo ng trabaho. Kasi bibigyan ko kayo ng tax package eh. Oh, sabi ko, oh, yun, sabi niya, done. O oh, ngayon, tingnan ninyo. Oh, the same employee will go to, halimbawa, let's just say, Pandatan. Oh, from Tundo. Dati from Tundo to BGC. So he will save more. He or she will save more. Then if he saves more, then malaki ang take home niya. Then you have a happy employee. If you have a happy employee, you have an efficient and productive employee. It will benefit you. Hindi na ako may sabi niya na scientist na may sabi niya. Oh, because science will dictate among right minds based on studies that a healthy, uh, a happy uh, employee uh, is more efficient and productive to the purpose of the company. <laughs> Kaya maging marketing ka eh. <laughs> Ang dami mong babasa ay libro eh. Uh, but, yeah, that's why. Uh, I would love to, uh, Secretary, I would love to speak before our youth. Why not? Uh, given a chance. That's why I try and I'm trying to accommodate as many forum as possible in a given light. Uh, I mean, in delivering oras. Kasi, Hindi naman kayo babalik basta-basta sa City Hall dahil nakita nyo lang ako sa City Hall eh. You have to hear us. You, ha we, you have to be given a chance to be heard like what you did today. So that you will know what's in our mind, what's in our hearts, where's the direction, what's the policy, programs, what are new existing laws, what happened to the Arta Law, what happened to ease of doing business, are you complying? Yes, we are compliant. In fact, we are Modisi aside, the president asked for three days. Manila is only one day. May business permit ka na. Yeah? Closure of business is easy. Bureaucracy from 11 steps to one, uh, three steps from eight windows to one window. You know, these are the things that you want. No, not wanted. No needs to be heard by the people. So that, start the putting your branches in Manila. Yeah? Kasi yung mga malilit na negosyo na yan, uh, parang ano yan, ting-ting. Pag pinagsama-sama niya, magiging walis yan. At mahirap ng baliin. So you're now, I want you to be our economic, domestic economic partner. Small businesses, more stable, more manageable. Less compliant or less, what we call, if I may put that in right perspective, regulatory, yes. easy to manage. See? It doesn't hurt if it close. Yes. Unlike a corporation who have about 1,000, 2,000 people in the very next day because of the PSC collapse, then the corporation collapse, then there will be 1,000. Hungry people will go in the streets of Manila. You know, medyo mabigat to. That's why. I'm a believer of small industry. That's why when I was given a chance to be with Go Negocio the other night with Secretary uh, Concepcion, I was kahit gabi-gabi na, wala pa akong loob to noon. Sige lang, tirahin natin. Why not? Total, laway-laway lang ang punan eh. Totoo naman, laway lang punan ko eh. And, some imagination. Why? Leaders should be magician. You have to create, be creative. You know, you have to innovate. You know already the trick. 
tayo naman, nabola na rin tayo ng magigero ng mara. <laughs> Napanood mo na yan eh. Pero you're still waiting because it's new time, new way, new approach. So may innovation. So alam na natin may gobyerno. Alam na natin the ABCs of good government. Alam natin ito ang rules. But leaders adopt. Kapag ang pinun, tumanggi na sa mga hamon at pagbabago ng panahon across the world, teknolohiya, ekonomiya, process, and so on, pag tumigil na, then, delikado tayo. We should adapt the way you wanted your people to adapt to your policy. Kaya ganun. Innovate, innovate. Kaya we keep on electing congressmen. We keep on electing senators. Bakit? Kailangan pa ba natin ng congressman? Kailangan pa ba natin ng senador? Eh may batas na. May konstitusyon na. Tama ba din? We should not be electing them. Pero hindi. We continue to elect them. Why? To innovate new laws. To create new laws. To innovate the old one. To adapt to the demands of our time. That if not, we will be outdated. Or... Hindi na tayo tumutugon sa hamon ng makabagong panahon. Kaya ang batas ay binabay. Huwag tayo mahihirate basta-basta. At hindi komo na kasanayan na ay tama na. Yan ang isang maling mindset. Hindi, okay na kami rito, tatawid na mga kami dyan eh. Nung araw nung mga ako tumatawid dyan eh, bata pa ako, dyan na ako tumatawid eh. Kaya na ang ilaman niya kami. O ito, tama. Di ba, ganun? No. We people should adopt also that there are new rules. Yes, it's true. You used to do that. But it doesn't mean it's right. Yan. Yan yung sa sabi ko. Talagang pinipilit ko na i-ano sa tao na. What? Einstein said, don't expect different results will come to you tomorrow if what you did today is the same as yesterday. You will have the same results. I'll be honored. I'll be honored. Anytime. Your man. Po. Kahit uh, yung mga address dito mga ito ngayon eh, parang wala sa Manila. At least kami. <laughs> Marami sa amin talaga, tiga Manila eh. Doon ka, eh, hindi lumaki eh. Oh, sabi ko na nga. Kaya nga kayo napagpad sa letran. Boom, elementary hanggang high school, galing kami sila eh. Yung mga isa, tapos US ka pa. Kasi Manila kami eh. At minimum na namuhay ang tao, general population ng Pilipinas ha, ah, in terms of Luzon. Ang general population, na kami, ah, ganito na lang, general population ng Professional, na, ayah, please jangan tayo, major data, ini dia. General population yang professional, you owe us four years of your lives. Cakap apa anda yo? Kasi, kau yang sini nak alam sama ni lah. Kau itu lah kami negosio tu, cakap parang, tidak kami ofisina tu. Memang ibu saya sama, kami negosio nanti. Kita gawai nanti pas sama ni lah. Interconnected. Ini lah tu. Right now, kami, we're doing certain projects that are planned for Manila. Kaya, ano eh, yung, yung kahalagahan ng inyong mensahe, this new mindset that you're bringing no, about governance no, and what it can do for uh, what the people also want to do for the community, talaga nga kami importante na makarating sa as many as possible, especially our young people. Kasi we need to redeem them from cynicism and cynicism. Okay, man. Nadali mo. Tama po kayo. Oh, okay. Pakalam po, tsaka a little bit about what you try. Good morning po sa lahat. Good morning po, your man, your isko. And it's a privilege for me to be here as I was invited by Mr. Herbie Carino. I'm representing Pasig City Chamber of Commerce, the micro, small, and medium enterprises of Pasig. But 
I am a college graduate, cum laude, o mas cum de pamantasa na lunsod ng Manila. I'm also serving as Rotary President of Pasig, Mutia ng Pasig. Medyo nasa Pasig side ako, but... Sige, sa Prada ko pa... Ito ha, before you continue. Sige, sa Prada, she is a Prada of a leader's vision. Mayor Lacson and Mayor Villegas. Talk of feeling. Because of that, now you have a leading front of us. Kung laude. I used to be a student leader. Kami po yung mga nag-rally during the time of, I think, Mayor Lillian. So, ang sa akin po kasi, ang profession ko na po ngayon is event organizer. And I'm also the Vice President for Philippine Marketing Association. Nabigit niyo po that you're needing something for the marketing. And a front po, we're offering already our service from the Philippine Marketing Association to help revive the interest of the investors and the business people as Manila as an investment location po. And we're we're actually the sa set kami ng meeting sa inyong mayor. Hindi lang kami mo kasi yun sa mayor's office. Si Chief of Staff. This is our... Si U.S. and si Cesar Chavez. And I myself is already, you know, parang fascinated na po sa lahat ng ginagawa ninyo. And I'm willing to help as an event organizer rally all the students and youth We, in Philippine Marketing Association, we have the Junior Marketing Association of the Philippines, which PLM has a lot of members. So we can hold um, um, a, a symposium or forum like this in a bigger crowd, especially to the youth. Kasi medyo nasa inalimbo po yung, um, uh, we call that, we call that ano eh, millennia sila ngayon, centennials. Centennials na yung upcoming professionals na yun eh. And they're looking for heroes, idols, so they can emulate also as they go through the adulthood. And I believe you're one of those na pwede namin ma-endorse from the PMA, from the Chamber of Commerce, and from other social civic organizations. So I hope po na we can, ano, we can schedule that para po yung youth natin ay magkaroon ng Direction, because nowadays the biggest sickness and disease of our society in the Philippines is apathy. It's indifference of the adults. Wala ulit yung tagalog ng apathy. Wala pa kaya lang. It's indifference po. So lumalabas na rin po yan. Yan na yung tipit balikat. Apo. So lumalabas rin po yan with the... Ano lang na? With the societal cases that were here. And... Yun nga po, yung isang ano lang namin, ma-share ko lang po. Um, yung isang kaedad ng son ko ay 18 years old na namatay sa bangungot. Na ang lifestyle ay medyo na inclined sa digital at hindi na rin napapansin ng parents. So medyo may mga uh, problems at dilemas po tayo na hinaharap ng society niya tungkol sa youth. So I hope po yung kapareho niya mabigyan ng chance din para ma-share yung inyong mga vision and direction sa iyo. So, thank you very much po. Hindi po tanong, pero endorsement yun. Nagsabi na, commitment, commitment ng investment. Yeah, Quentin. All the way from Davao. Welcome to Quezon City. Quezon City po ito. Good morning everyone. I am attorney Anton Pagsali. And my wife mandated me to appear today with a specific instruction that I will have a selfie with you later on. I hope you will indulge. Anyway, this is my question. Before my question, every status in life, whether religious, businessman, or professional, we have our own inspiration. Now, um, in passing, you already mentioned, but I want to hear it again from you because as we are awed by your 
performance as a public servant. I want to know where you draw your strength and inspiration, especially, especially with the enormous task ahead of you, the political bickerings and, and things like that. And especially when times that you are down, that you are about to give up, where do you draw your strength and inspiration? Because in that manner, we may also be inspired by all these things. Thank you. Madalas kasi ipinagpapasa Diyos ko eh. Ang, ang bottom line ng, ng lahat, it's not because karap ko yung mga madre. <laughs> Pare, no. I don't, want, I don't want you to listen to what you want to hear. But I'm just trying to react. In fact, I'll show you one. This has been with me for 22 years, I guess. 22 years. Uh, Na-abduct na, na ako. Ah, in 2005. Pinado na ako ng baril na inagdak ako. It is in the news. Lahat nakuha. Ito hindi nakita. Uh, I don't want to sound uh, religious or something. or But I, I, I always believe in Jesus. Kanya-kanya <laughs> tayo choice. Ha? <laughs> Si Jesus, yes, when, 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 you know, I, after all these things, no, uh, I will be physically tired at the end of the day. I will be mentally drained mid-afternoon, you ask Jacob Stark, mid-afternoon pa lang. I really have to cope up with, with this. I, I really want to, to, may balita, may problema, gusto ko immediately tulduhan. Kasi ito yung mga maliliit, 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 before you know it, yung tigyawat naging, ano na? Pigsa. Yung pigsa naging tumor. See? I, 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 no, sir. Sorry ah, salamat ah. No. No, black lang ako kasi hindi ko na kailangan sugar, sweet na ako. Uh, okay, so that's where I end up. I end up with Jesus. I, I end up with uh, Jesus. I always uh, try to get his attention. Uh, to guide me. Uh, to give me uh, emotional strength. Because I am biased. I am biased. In such a way, mas may pagkiling ako sa mga may hirap natin ng kababayan. <clears throat> Emotional balance and strength is simply because while gusto kong pagmalasakitan lagi yung mga may hirap, but ang gobyerno o ang lipunan ay binubuo ng iba't ibang sektor at demografiya. Namangunawaan ko yung damdamin niya bilang negosyante. Maunawaan ko yung damdamin niya bilang ina o leader. Kasi kung tatanungin ninyo ko, nauunawaan ko ba ang sitwasyon na mahirap? May PhD po ako doon. You don't have to tell me anong kailangan ng mahirap. Pero yung kailangan niya, hindi ko alam. That's why, yun ang hinihingi ko pang unaw. Yan ang mga bagay na pinapangalangin. Gamitin mo akong tulay sa mga tao na gusto mo. Because whatever we do, out of our pocket, it's not us, ours. It's just a, a material thing with value, but it moves people, it helps people. So, kung dumating sa'yo, pwede mawala sa'yo. Doon ako lagi, I sit in a coffee shop, I hope there's a smoking room for that. Uh, I have to be honest with you, that's the only vices that I have. I drink, mas madalang pa pagbilog sa buwan, Kasi ayaw kong pumirma ng lasing. Kasi mayroon ko yan pumirma ng lasing. Ano ba yung 
natin, pero yun mo yung English niya, hirap na hirap na akong basahin. <laughs> Kailangan ko pa basahin ng ilang beses. Ano pa kaya yung duling-duling na ako? <laughs> Baka mapirma ako ng mapirma ang lahat yan. I, I smoke, I, I sit in a coffee shop, in, in, in a corner. That's why at the time, I, I love Cafe Adriatico because there's a smoking space. Ayun lang talaga, gusto ko. Kaya sabi ko sa inyo, I'm no angel. Meron din ako mga pagkulang. Uh, then, ang pinaka matibay na baterya ay yung strength. That's what you do. Nung kinuha mo yung mga anong tawag yan? Low lying fruit pa tawag mo. Low lying fruit. Ba? Tapos sinug ka pala. Binigay mo sa utaw. Nag-enjoy siya. So when you see their enjoyment or, uh, like when I pag tinataas ko yung cortina ko yan, lahat ng ambasador na nagpunta. You can ask Julius. I, I sit, I open it at that window. Ayan, yung Taytay Island. Pag binubuksan ko yun, Can you imagine? Sabi ko nga kay Jim, sa totoo na naman tayong ginawa eh. Binalik lang natin yung normal. Ang ganda pala. And people are enjoying it. Pag pinasin niya dun, iniscoba ko lang yun. Inistilwol namin yung konting retas. Inilawang ko ng konti, hindi marangya. Nilagyan natin ng kapis, Pilipino pa. Kasi gusto ko Pilipino eh. Kasi yung habit na habit ng mga leader, kumokopya, kusasa ang bansa. Nawala yung sense of belonging. You know, Jose Rizal will remind us, alitaktak. Kung maalala ninyo, nilalagay sa hotelya, o oh, yun, ganyan ninyo. O, oh, ikapis, Pilipino yan. O, oh, lighting, eh, pareho lang yung lighting na concept. Simple, simple. An orthodox lighting. Make it more natural. Good undefined as if there is an uh, insect who produces certain light level of parang gano'n lang pag tinitingnan namin ano ko yung utawag sa'yo pag nakita mo pala ng mga sila family the picture may nag-propose pa ah um, nakikita namin eh na sulit pare ito sa hindi ko tayo walang tulog nito nung tinitira natin ito Parang, at the end of the day, okay, next! Anong kabi? Kaya, yun, doon po ako, pagka na-appreciate nyo. Basta ang endgame ko, Jesus, kay Jesus ako. Pero yun, dito ako, yung normal, uh, to give me strength, is kung kayo, uh, when you appreciate those things. Shall we pray for uh, the mayor uh, yes. every day? Yes. Huh? Nako, eh, yun ang pinakamabisa. Eh, kasi marami na nga ang harap makakapak ako ng munggo ngayon. Pag-apag ko tas, bumagong ulo ko. Ang dami pang gusto mong mag-react. Pero sa amin ni Mayor, kailangan siya bumalik doon sa... Kaya, sige, sa pag-apag. Dito, last question dito. Kasi meron tayong uh, rapporteur, who will... Yep. Mr. Mayor, thank you for uh, giving me the chance. First, I'm glad Jesus is real to you. We're one with that and the rest. I like to connect with what Father Roland said. I think because of your desire to do good and desire the good of so many, you can, ins I really go, I like what he said, you can be an inspiration to the youth, even in Ateneo, to balance it. Second, second mayor, uh, uh, napansin ko sa inyo, meron kayong freedom, kasi may culture ang Filipino na may hang up, pag may authority na kahit na mali yung ginagawa niya. I was in BIR yesterday and I became also, I chopped them with my bare hands in the legal division. Mayor, anong masasabi mo para ma-inspire mo rin ang Filipina na ma-break yung culture natin na may hang up sa authority na kahit na mali yung ginagawa, you parang 
You can, yeah. But it's a, some Filipino culture, you know, that's one thing I don't like. But you can inspire also adults, employees, the Filipino culture, you break yung, yung ganung culture na meron na pang mali, hindi nagsasalita. We can't speak. Sa'yo ko lang narinig, lastly, na meron palang law. Sabi ko nga sa mama ko, na meron palang law na gano'n, na pag ang, pag ang magulang ay hindi niya kaya i-take care, meron palang law. Sa Manila lang. Sa Manila. Sa Manila. Sa Manila. Sa Manila. Sa Manila. Tukulad talaga ako doon. Sabi ko, mama, ano, mahirap tumulong sa mahirap, pero pag may ganyan, parang, so, that is one. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, Ipinagpapasalamat ko na rin sa mga taga Maynila. Una sa tundo. Oh, dahil ginawa nila ang kutsiyan. For nine years. You know, being in, being part of a 30 members of the city council with lawyers and engineers and professionals, me, a high school graduate, you know, taught me very well of those experiences on how to argue, discern. We may all argue. Ito, ito lang yung diskurso mo, diskurso ko. But we are in a club. We can always argue, but at the end of the day, before we leave that door, we have to come up with something that we all agree. Dito sunugan tayo ng idea. Dito baril lang tayo ng idea. Pero paglabas natin ng pintuan na yan, people are expecting for us that we came up with to come up with uh, something for them. And that is our obligation. Kaya, gano'n na, ano po. Kaya, ipinipapasalamat ko sa tao. Bakit? Kaya ako, high school penis. At that time. And because of an opportunity given to me by the people of Tondo, natuto ako. O, tapos naging vice mayor pa ako, lalong tumibay ang pagiging uh, pag-argue. Because, you know, confused is it. He was questioned as a fool for that moment. He who does not is a fool forever. So having that setback, academic setback, kasi talaga wala ako, hindi ako pinagpala na may gitong kutsara sa bibigyan mga magulang ko. Gusto ko mag-aral. And I hope you don't get, don't get me wrong. Eh? You can check the records of my primary education. Not because all of us all of them are not. Hindi naman sa pagbubuatan mo. So, talaga may gigil. Wala lang talaga yung chapi. Ay, may wala lang akong pera talaga. Na, ano, na kaya akong mapag-arali. That's why, nung ako ay nabalik sa nabigyan ng pagkakataon ng Panginoon Diyos, Nandun ako sa gobyerno, nakita ko, sabi ko, sabi ko, bumalik sa pag-aaral. Then went back to school, thanks to Vice Mayor Danny Lacuna, former Vice Mayor, he encouraged me to go back to school. Naturally, dahan-dahan, hanggang sa, there was a time, naging almoranas na ako. Sa pwet na may pwet. Uh, with, you know, eh, maganda rin talaga ang karanasan. Eh. I did not imagine myself at one time standing for nine hours. Straight talking and arguing for nine hours. On the floor. Because naturally, when you keep on, kasi wala namang monopoly of knowledge. So, I keep on asking, not because pinahirap ang kita, because I want them to learn. So that when I said yes, I know when I go to Plaza Miranda, I can defend it in Plaza Miranda. You may disagree with it, you may agree with it, but I can tell why I did vote, I did participate. Kasi my reason may not be your reason. My logic may not be your logic. But you deserve to know at the very least why did I participate. 
So you may respect and not respect the position, but at the very least, you do your obligation. Why? Hindi yung nyanyang ka lang. Ito mga. Those who are in favor, please raise your right hand. Experience ko yun. Sabi ko, kinausap ko yung kusel lang. Sabi ko, pare, you know, alam mo tayo, pare-pareho tayo, hindi nag-aaral, pare-pareho tayo. Wala nga. Harapin natin ang katotohanan, puro tayo tulong niyo sa kanyo. But we're here already. Ang dito na tayo. Sinok pa na tayo ng tao. I mean, pinapasok na tayo ng tao. Andiyan na tayo. So, bahagi na tayo ng pamamahala. I think, one way or another, we pay the price of whatever we're doing when we were just an ordinary John Doe's and Mary, we dedicate a portion of that time in our academic needs. And in fact, with respect to Senator Ople, he's a product of reading. Sumalangit ang kaluluwa ni Senator Ople. One of the respect and the foreign affairs secretary. Produkto yun ang ano? Nang basa. Yun. Along the way. So, I told you sa akin. Yung tatong binabago ko, pati kultura ng pagboto sa konsejo at that time. Tumayo ka. You argue. You ask. Ako ilang beses ako napahiya sa konsejo. Nang nasa record yan nasa record yan ng council. Ah, kung Diyos ko, pinagtalo na namin etiketa. Etiket. O, ikala ko yung etiketa, ito, hindi ba dito? I swear. I was being humiliated. People are laughing again. Laughing. Ito, tatawal na ko sa po. Ah, dahil ina-argue ko yung dapat, ito, nasa record ko. Ano? Lulugin na ko eh. Kasi ganito. His exit, ano? Ano tawag sa first lady? First lady. First lady. Hindi ko naman mag-gita. Hindi ko sa inyo first lady. First lady. Nang bansa, asawa ng presidente. First lady. Sabi ko, no, Her Excellency, first lady. A number. Ah, pangalan ng tao. Sabi sa akin, ano, kasi resolution yun. Bakit walang, ano, Her Excellency? Sabi niya, The first lady itself is already a recognition of the rank. Rank. Ah, ah, hindi. Why? Hindi pa magalang, magalang-galang yung unang gila. Ay yung ano? Ano mo plug tato? No, sa rule of etiquette o ano etiquette? Pati ba naman etiquette na nandamit pero buusa pa na kung ano? Hindi ba etiquette? But you know, those are my uh, uh, trouble years. Uh, in such a way, in such a matter, in, in, a, in a way that uh, uh, because of lack, of, uh, I was deprived of opportunity to learn. So I want them to stop. I want them to stop laughing. And the only way to do it is to fulfill or to complete my academic background. Whether in a different manner, as long as it's academic. And particular academic needs, which is governance. Why? Eh, kasi ako yung nasa pamamahala. I cannot ask somebody to teach me physics table of uh, elements and then uh, we go to to the floor AU is gold <laughs> no, uh, diba? so I have uh, uh, marami salamat sa UP uh, UP and CIPAD uh, they offered the executive program, unti-unti yan nag-umpisa ko po executive program pak, pak, pak quick, quick learning pak, tapos kuha ng data, basa tapos pak, 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 oh, next, gano'n. Nagabuli talaga, pabalik ako nag-aaral eh. Di ba, pag-aaral pa gano'n, 
ako pabalik. I have to go back. Eh, awa naman ng Diyos. Kaya nga, ako eh, kahit pa paano masasabi ko, eh, ako yung diploma na, hindi lang gawang rekto, gawang Makati pa eh. <laughs> And I hope, my friends in showbiz, <laughs> I mean, in the future, in the future, there's no harm in learning. Ako naman, isinishare ko lang ha. Alam mo, problema natin sa, sa mga showbiz, kami, kami, kami mga politiko, uh, galing sa pag-artista, gagamitin namin siyempre yung kasikatan at sa ayot sa gusto ninyo, yun ang lamang namin, yung kasikatan. That, that's part of the, that's part of politics. Why would you run if you're not sikat? I mean, <laughs> logic will dictate among right minds. It's just so happy that we're that kind of edge. But siguro sana someday uh, sa tayo, alibawa, dahil nga dala ng hanap buhay natin, marahil iba sa ating dinakapag-aral, and there's no harm in learning. Because we have to take this seriously. Nakasalalay eh ang pamayanan sa kanyang pamahalaan. Sandigan sandalan ng pamayanan ng kanyang pamayanan. Anong gusto natin? Adobe o plywood? So you have to come up with a strong government. Not strong because kailangan mo magalit lagi o kailangan mo pagdabog. No. Strong is such a way firm. Fair. Just. All of this, all these things. Immaterial of your religion. That God must be put first. It's a lot. Immaterial of your belief. That, that, kailangan lang may God. Ano mang pangalan mo doon? Basta ako si Jesus ang God ko. Yun. Sa'yo, ano ba pangalan? Approve. Ingat ka. Ganun lang. Respect. Kumbaga, parang, uh, but there must be. There, there, there yes, yeah, supreme being. There must be. Don't naniniwala ko. Kasi nga, after everything, say it in time. Oh, do your best. And God will take care of the rest. Thank you. Thank you. I really apologize to all those who were attempted to bring up something to the mayor. Sana, one day, not very far from now, but if I can do it, then we can continue. Yeah. Rapid lang boundary. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, we will ask uh, for, uh, Eugene, the designated rapporteur, to kind of give us, uh, uh, in summary, the highlights of today's discussion. Salamat po. Puno po sa lahat. Ako po ay naito na tangba. Lamay ni. Tunay na batang Maynila. May sarap at asing ng batang sambal. Kabila lang. Narinig po natin ang napakaraming bagay na kanyang mga transport. Tulad na lamang po na pagsasabi na hindi naman nila talaga pa hindi pa naman talaga sila gumagawa ng something na bago. Dahil basic lang po kanilang ginagawa kundi ang pagkakaroon lamang ng tamang pananaw. At ang pananaw na yun ay ang pagtanggap na may mali sa mga hindi natin. Mag-usa naman tayo sa ating mga dapat gawin. Narinig niyo po natin ang sinabi niya na I will not always be right, but I am just, which nakikita naman natin ang nangyayari rin. Tinawag din niya sa sarili niyang alboranas o pain in the ass. Siya po yun, sabi niya. Kung noon ay tinatawag na mandarambong, magnanakaw, at plunderer, ngayon na alkohol sapagkat walang patawad sa mikrobyo. So, it will be different because I don't like stagnation or hibernation. Dapat may pagbabago. The principle of temperature. Anything 
above zero is positive. Tama po yun. Walang garantiya, pero tiyak na may mangyayari sa Maynila. Palakpakan po natin. Muli, si Maynila. Lord Mayor Scott. Mayroon. At gawin ko rin pong pagkakataon ito upang magpasalamat dahil kayo ay also motolite namin sa Maynila. Maraming salamat po. Gusto rin po namin balikan ang mga nakapagbahagi ng kanilang pananaw kanina. Si Padre Roland Dilarosa ay nabanggit tungkol sa, sa mga youth na nandito sa loob ng Manila Universities which was acknowledged by our Yorme na napakarami po talaga mga graduates professionals sa Manila. And then we also heard something from uh, Ms. Mitch offering Balisteros offering her service under the Philippine Marketing Association. And also Fray Anton Bansali, attorney Fray Anton Bansali who also uh, indulged na respectfully requesting from Mayor May Escoco yung kanyang source of strength and inspiration sa mga panahong siya yung nahihirapan na sinagot na mabuti ni Yor May. And of course from Ms. Gail Hines kung saan sinabi niya na meron siyang hangap sa mga authority which was also answered very well by Yor May. So marami po salamat. Pero bago po ako magpasalamat, dahil alam ko mamaya magkakagulo na, mag magsiselfie mo na kami ni Yor May. summary nito, ipopost natin sa Facebook ng PLA together with pictures at may request na Manila bulitin sa akin bulit daw ako ng kwento together with a photo of the mayor with us at ipapublish nila alright okay. okay. uh, announcements from our chairman <laughs> Okay, good afternoon. So while you're preparing, so we'll do this civilly, ha, yung pag-take ng picture, okay? So while you're preparing to take pictures with the mayor, I would like to announce that next month, the third iteration of the Catholic Business Forum, our topic is the decongestion of Metro Manila. It will happen on October 22, 2019, okay? So just to, remember, uh, just to remind everyone, the third iteration of the Catholic Business Forum will happen October 22, and the topic is the decongestion of Metro Manila. Okay, mga gusto magpa-picture, pila lang po, okay? And then, uh, Pili, I would ask that you stay for a group photo. The mayor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 